Hey everyone, it's Marilyn Aloria, psychic medium. I'm typing in it as I say this. Teacher and coach. Woohoo! How are you? How is everybody? Well, today we are talking about procrastination. Are you procrastinating? So I'm going to wait for you guys to uh, start joining me. And um, I just wanted to talk. I also have a gift for you. Type type channel in and you're going to get my August channeled message, which you know is so much more than just a channeled message. Hi, Anna. It's all about um, living your best life. And there, hi, Victoria. And there have been so many lessons lately. I don't know about you guys, but um, the ending of July, hey, Pia. Um, at the ending of July was very, very, very interesting. And it's kind of going into, uh, Rashawn, hi. It's try kind of going into where um, August is going. So let me give some shout outs. Hey, Wendy, hey, Alice. I'm really glad that you guys are joining me. Um, you can type, oh, Jocelyn, I miss the rain. Oh, I'm actually thinking of moving because I want to live somewhere more in the rain. So type channel in below and you're gonna get my channel message. Let me explain to you what's gonna happen. You're gonna go into that little messenger thing that Facebook does, right? And then just type the word channel. Hi, Sharon, hi, Carolee. And you're gonna get uh, a thing that says, do you want the channel's message? And then you have to type channel again. So you're gonna type channel, get the messenger, and then you're gonna type channel again. And then you're gonna have to opt into my email list to get it. Sorry, I'm not sending you anything else after that except for like Facebook lives and notifications. We're not selling anything right now. I just want to get you in my email list, I'm being honest, okay? So just know that you're gonna get it. It's a really, really good message this month because, um, and we're gonna talk about procrastination. I'm gonna play some games today. I don't know what they're gonna have me do uh, with procrastination because they never tell me. They just tell me what the title is. But um, it's been a really interesting time uh, for me and for many people. and. What I have found and what I did the channel's message yesterday is that uh, what's so interesting about right now is that you're building character. So I don't know about you and tell me how many of you are coming, going through this, but I'm going through some very interesting, difficult, for the lack of a better word, things. And I know it's because spirit is building my character. So last night, Micah, my lovely dog who's outside who will probably bark, woke me up at like 4 a.m. in the morning. And um, when he woke me up, I couldn't get back to sleep. And I had all this stuff going on in my head about this, this thing that's happening that I've actually shared with my membership program, but I can't really share out in the world. And um, I was really struggling and I was pulling Jesus in, I was pulling my higher self in and I was trying to work through it. And I was like, you know, help me to find peace with this. This is like something where I'm getting legal involved, you know, things like that. And um, I finally fell asleep dealing with my higher self, talking to my higher self. And when I started waking up again, what I was hearing was this magnificent way of speaking to myself. I heard, I'm amazing, I'm beautiful, I'm not wrong, I'm incredible, I'm great. And I was like, it just kicked in. And I don't know how many of you wake up that way, but when you wake up and start your day that way, it really is quite um, exhilarating and it really sets your path off in such an incredible way. So we're talking about procrastination, but before we get to procrastination, a little tip or tool that I'd love to give you guys. Hi, Lori. Hi, Elena. Hi. Um, so excited that you guys are here. Um, what A little tip or tool, like, so for my higher self, you all got, and if you didn't get it last week, if you go into the messenger bot and you type life, you're going to get a day in the life exercise, this beautiful uh, e ebook that we have for you, this PDF. Um, so I don't want to confuse things. We didn't want to have too many things going. Channel is the free gift that you're going to get. You're going to go into the messenger bot. You're going to have to type channel again. Then you'll have to put in your email address and you'll get the channeled message. I'm not selling anything. I will tell you sometimes when I am selling things and sometimes I won't tell you, but um, it, this is just about getting people on my email list because I want to keep growing that list as well. But with that said, can't type life here, Phoebe. Type it when you get the messenger. Type channel. Everybody type channel. And if you also want life that you didn't get the PDF, just type life uh, when you get the message, when you get the messenger thing in your Facebook messenger. I can share screens, but I don't know how to do it. Next time I'll share the screen so I could show you what I'm talking about. 
because I know some of you have difficulty with technical things. So the thing I want to talk to you about is uh, about procrastination. But before we do that, I want to talk about a higher self. For some reason, you know, I also channel when I do these things. The higher self is uh, a part of you that already has wisdom that you're seeking, or it has a confidence or um, a character trait that you're working towards. They're usually in the future living out a particular goal. Sometimes they're in the past. And the thing is, is that when you um, deal with your higher self and you start talking with your higher self on a regular basis, and you start asking them questions, it's one of the easiest guides to get in touch with and it'll help you in your life to make choices and decisions, okay? So I've, start, I've been working on teaching higher self this month in uh, membership again, because it's just such an important uh, technique and tool and for people that are um, whatever, doesn't matter, I'm not gonna get into that. So let's talk about procrastination. How many of you struggle with procrastination? How many of you know why you struggle with procrastination? Woo, I went blurry, I went blurry, what's going on? So how many of you struggle with procrastination? I know Lori, you got in the back door into membership. Lori got into a back door way. Sometimes there's a VIP way of getting in. Um, so if you get on the wait list to membership, you may find out how. So welcome, welcome, Lori, I'm so glad. So yeah, a lot of people struggle with procrastination. And do you know why? Why do you think, before I answer things, why do you think you struggle with procrastination? Tell me the reasons. Like everybody's saying, absolutely. Victoria says, yes, and I know why. Tell me why. Sharon says, I do, and I know why. You know, it's so interesting, right? So everybody knows why they're struggling with procrastination. And then why aren't we doing anything about it? So uh, Sarah says, I do, as if I avoid doing what I know gets me closer to my goal. Yes. Let's see who else. Uh, Kim says fear. Yes. Um, Kim, another Kim says right now I'm, I am. It's happening due to depression. Yeah. Sorry that you're going through that, sweetie. I know what depression's like. Um, someone else says yes, but I blame it on money. Interesting, Alice. That's a very interesting. So how do you blame it on money? I have an idea, but I want to hear it from you. How do you blame it on money? Um, and then Sharon says, it's not aligned in what I want or should be doing. Uh, so you're questioning, you're procrastinating because you're wondering if it's aligned and what you should be doing. Is that why? Um, and Elena says, fear is a lot of fear. Being afraid of not being perfect. Perfect. That is a great response. She, Kathleen also says, I'm concerned about failure. So think right now, before we go more into this, Go, go think right now about uncertainty, doubt, working on that pesky doubt critter. Yeah. Um, think about, like, here's my question to you. Hmm. All right. Can everybody think of a time of a goal that they saw into fruition that they didn't, they may have procrastinated on, procrastinated on, but they did it and it ended up being really great? Can you all think of a time in your life when you didn't procrastinate on something and it was great? So I'll use tennis as an example because I love using tennis. So I've been wanting to play tennis for eons, years, many, 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 many years. But when I was in New York City, it was, it was way too expensive. There's that money thing, right? Now, I could have probably found a park or other people and maybe found a cheaper way of doing it. But the only thing I knew, my limited perception, this is what happens sometimes, we get into limited perception thinking there's only one answer. I thought, oh, you can only go to the, this court in Chelsea and it's like $1,000, like it's just so expensive. So I came to California, forgot about it a bit and then started wanting to play again and wanting to play and wanting to play but did not really do it. Why didn't I do it? One, I didn't educate myself on it. I didn't know enough about it. Uh, two, fear, going into something totally new. Matter of fact, my neighbor downstairs, I'm remembering this now, he was playing like a couple of blocks from my house but I was too afraid. And I'm not normally a fearful person going into groups. Like I take classes all the time or I'll go into things, but there was something about tennis and not, I was, wasn't very, um, I didn't play sports as a kid. I was athletic in the sense of that I like to exercise, but that's it. And uh, so then when I finally did it, finally a friend of mine, Spirit put a friend of mine at a table, dinner table. She said she was taking tennis lessons. I'm like, I need to take tennis lessons. And I started doing it and it changed my life, completely changed my life. 
And the thing about that is it also changed my business. It changed everything because the, the things that I'm learning, the brain that I'm part of the brain I'm using, you know, this is a really good example of how we don't need to stay stuck on the one thing we're studying, how it's good to go out of the box and push the envelope because it teaches you what you need to know. So a lot of times when people are telling me they're feeling blocked or trapped, spirit usually says, go around it and do something else. So me doing tennis helped unblock me in so many ways. Like it helped me to gain confidence in areas, helped me to get a bigger voice, you know, helped me to stand up for my truth. Um, it helped me to deal with group energy, which I don't really, not the best at, you know, I have to be honest, not the best at it. So I'm gonna go look at what you wrote right now because I wanna deal with this procrastination. I wanna deal with a goal and something you're procrastinating right now because the reason why you're procrastinating is one, usually it's an old story. Oh, you can't do that. That's impossible. It's too expensive. There's excuses. The other reason is, is that sometimes the known is better than the unknown. So that creating a new habit is too fearful. And it's like, eh, I'll get to it tomorrow. Eh, I'll get to it tomorrow. Eh, I'll get to it tomorrow. Not knowing what the experience is going to be about. So you're walking into the unknown. You're walking into the abyss. Um, and that's a, that's a big topic to talk about. Uh, the other thing is, is like, you just don't think it's going to change anything. Why do it? Who cares? Is it really going to change anything? Nothing changed before. And that can be, that's the furthest thing from the truth. Many times your goals are at a vibration that you're not vibrating at yet. And you need to take steps to get to that vibration. And spirit's going to give you little things in your path that you need to stop procrastinating about so that you can shift the vibration inside your heart and soul and get towards this goal. So I want to see what some of you guys said. I have an itchy eye. Usually it's an itchy nose. Uh, Linda said, right, it won't change anything. That's the story we tell ourselves, right? Because we've been disappointed and things haven't changed and we tried it that one time and people were mean to us or whatever it may be. But there's always some type of change happening, especially when you're going at it consciously, then it changes. So when you have a consciousness around, I'm afraid, I feel like it's not going to change. I, I really, I'm not going to, I'm going to do this, but I really don't want to do it. I'm friggin' tired. I'm tired of always having to do things. When you go in with that consciousness and do it, it'll change. Something's going to change in your life and in your path. So let's see what people said. Lori said, I'm working on the goal and I'm really close. Sometimes I just can't move forward. I don't think it's fear and patience of trying to get there. So, Lori, what I would want to know for you is uh, what the goal is. I kind of want to know what the goal is because sometimes it is not happening in the timeline that we want it to happen in because spirit is getting your character building up. Spirit is making you ready for the opportunity because how many of you have had an opportunity and you weren't yet ready for it. So you either shut it out and pushed it away or you walked towards it and it was kind of like, not great. So how many times does that happen, right? So spirit is doing it a little bit different this time and getting you ready for it. Um, let's see, who else? The habit change that has helped me is to stop overthinking, a biggie for me. Yeah, Sandra, that's a really good one. That's what conscious creation is about. It's about like, if you're conscious of the feelings. So, so something I want to talk about, I didn't realize I was going to talk about all of this stuff. Um, and I'm going to go to more of your questions. But many of you, me included, we have goals that we have no idea what it's going to feel like when we're there. We think we know. And it's more in, like, so say like one of my goals is to move, right? To move out of L.A., and move into another location where I don't know a lot of people. I don't know what to expect. And when I moved to LA, it was such a difficult, difficult time for me for many years. So all I'm calling on is what I experienced the last time around, right? But I'm in a different place now. I'm in a different consciousness. I'm in a different energy. I'm in a different experience. I'm much more um, uh, not as fearful. You know, I was just coming out of 9-11 and a broken up relationship and a, and a, and a health condition, like a lot of things happen when I moved here. So, but my story in my head is like, oh, it's going to be like that. We don't know where we're walking towards. We don't know what that goal is going to feel like, but that goal to me, possibly moving for me, 
I, you focus on the energy. It's going to give me more nature. It's going to give me less traffic. It's going to give me different energy. It's going to get me out of the Hollywood energy. It's going to get me more into down to earth and grounded energy. Nothing against Hollywood, but there's a lot of that around here. It's going to get me more connected to spirit. If you focus on what you know to be true, it helps you to go towards it a little bit easier. So what spirit would have me do then in that particular goal is do the things here that make you feel that, right? So my big thing is nature. So I've been hiking a lot when I can. It's really too hot here for me, which is another reason why I want to get out of here. But I went hiking yesterday, the day before. I went to the park this morning. The dogs were rolling around in the grass. That's really important to me. Um, I don't fill my weeknights with too many things. You know, there's always tennis things that I could go to, but I find that during the weeks from Mondays to Thursdays, maybe I can do one thing, but normally I need to kind of chill. I need to kind of have a good dinner and walk the dogs by the LA river and sit outside in my backyard. So all of that, I know, and it prepares me for what my life could be. Are you guys following me? Or am I all over the place? And then I'm going to get some of your questions. But do let me know if you're understanding what I'm saying. So April says, my procrastination is fear-based and making the task bigger than it really is. Exactly. When I break it down into steps like the elephant, it is easy to eat, do. Then I am like, wow, that's done. that's done now. Perfect. Hi, Kristen. So that's what I'm trying to teach you right now. Like, I don't want procrastination to be, ah, to be the excuse anymore. I want us to break down goals. So I kind of want to help you right now with a goal you may be struggling with and some procrastination that you have. Now, Spirit just said something to me. Um, how many of you feel like procrastination or doing it at the last minute makes you do it? How many of you struggle? I know that's a big thing for me, right? So being under the wire, being in the 12th hour makes me I may have to go get my cup. Makes me sometimes push through it. But I don't like being exhausted like that anymore. So now I plan things out even better. So it doesn't really, because then what you do is like, I don't know about you, but when I'm waiting till the 12th hour, I'm like, why, the, why did I do this? Oh my goodness, now I got to do it. And I'm like stressed out and I'm angry and I'm annoyed at myself because I did that. So I really do myself a favor and I don't do that anymore. I love what April said, breaking it down into pieces. I think I have Kristen up there. I don't mean to. All right. So let's see what Michelle said. When things keep stacking against what it feels like fight or flight, I'm thinking of moving, but don't know if I should procrastination or fear. So this is a great example of is it procrastination or is it fear? Fight or flight is you definitely don't want to be making a decision from a fight or flight response, right? So fight or flight, I used to have PTSD and that's a fight or flight response, right? So if, for those of you who don't know what post-traumatic stress syndrome does to a lot of people, though I, I bet a lot of you have had this experience, it makes you go into survival mode, right? It makes you, when something little can even happen, it makes you freak out and you go into survival mode and you either fight that thing or you fly away out of fear. You don't want to be making big choices from that place. So what happens if that's your experience, right? That's what you're experiencing with goal setting. You're, you're not feeling the support around you, of people around you. You don't know what to do. Really jump into soulful living because they're so supportive in there. I'm not even, like, I'm going to be on that page more. But wow, the people are amazing in that group. Yeah, just in case. That's a Facebook uh, group that I have, Soulful Living with Your Guides. Definitely jump into there to get help. So for Michelle, who was asking about moving you want to break it down. What would moving mean to you? What would it do for you? What do you feel it would provide for you that it's not providing for you now? What are you looking for in the experience? What are you feeling that you're lacking now? What is it that you really want? So for me, it would be like more land, um, more nature, not traffic. Um, um, I love my house, but I would like a little bit of a bigger house, you know, near water, so you want to look at those things and then you want to incorporate them in your life today to the best of your ability and then make a decision from that place. Because I can really make a decision. I, my life here in LA is great. I don't have, I have a great life here. So I can make a decision about moving from that place instead of fight or flight. I hope that that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. Let me see who else I can help. So right now what I want to know is a goal 
and what you why you feel like you're procrastinating and let me see if I can do some readings and help people um, and you understood what I was saying I'm glad uh, Victoria says big time I used to thrive on a time crunch not any longer me either I do not want to do that to myself anymore. I have a friend that is like that constantly. And whenever I get on, and I love her so much, but whenever I get on a call, all she does is complain. And she, I'm like, if you keep doing that, that's what you're going to bring into your life. So I'm very much about a no. No, can't go there. No, can't do that. No, can't do this. No, can't do that. And I know what I need to do in order to get further. Um, and I think that that's a lot that adds to procrastination too, is overwhelm. What's the thing? What's the shiny new object? What's going to change my life? What's going to make me happier? What's going to make me make more money? What's going to make me joy? And I, I'm living proof to tell you that all of that is in here, that you have to really find that stuff inside. That's why I've been giving you the souls list and the one to 10 videos and the working on the day in the life. I want you to really get clear on what it is you want to feel. And I want you, I did this with membership yesterday. I want them to add a little bit of light in their day. So let me see what some people wrote. Um, Rochelle wrote, goal, new job, procrastination, afraid that it'll be unsatisfying. This is a great one. Unsatisfying like all my other jobs and take me away from building my own business and being happy. So Rochelle, that happens. I hope you guys all saw that because a lot of you go through this where you need a bridge job. You need a job that's going to pay the bills, but you don't, you're afraid to get that bridge job because you're afraid that you're not going to be true to yourself and committed to yourself for the career that you really want. So you push the bridge job away because it's not what you really want to be doing. And you don't trust yourself enough to go into a bridge job and do a committed time where you're then out of that bridge job. So Rochelle, what I want you to do is look at it differently. I want you to look at it as this incredible building block tool. And I want you to say to yourself, and if you, whatever it takes to, now you're in my mastermind group, so we can commit to this together. You can do this. But for any of you who have friends or accountability, or you can even go into soulful living and account and say, Rochelle, what I want you to do is realize this job is only going to be for a year, or it's only going to be for six months. And that's it. And I promise when I get this job that I'm going to commit to doing my art, learning about a website, learning about Pinterest, whatever it is, because I know a little bit about Rochelle, right? And I'm going to commit to doing that. And I'm going to be accountable to it. And I'm going to make sure that that happens. And that's going to make you go to that bridge job. So when I went to NBC Olympics, right, I was so done with TV. So done. But I knew I had a year and a half. I was making incredible money for my age. I knew that it wasn't going to suck the life out of me. I was going to be able to do what I needed to do. And you can bet that every free moment, and it was, lo I loved it. I was pursuing my career outside of that, out of that company. And when that company ended, did you think I was afraid? Uh, yeah, but I had a plan and I trusted myself. And in four months I got the lead in an off-Broadway play. So you can do it. All right, let's see who else. Um, Kim says, new career direction and life purpose. I have been haven't been doing much work-wise for a long time. And I procrastinate because I have no idea where or how to go. Some of it is about not wanting to repeat the old unfulfilling stuff. Kim, that is such a good, like, first of all, your awarenesses in this thread is incredible. So those of you who are just joining me too, by the way, type in channel so you can get my new channel's message because I'm telling you guys, something's shifting big time. And I don't get into astrology. I talk about that in the channeled message. And Kim, I'm going to answer you in a second because this is for everybody. But um, I don't get into astrology. It's not my thing. I just don't like the chicken or the egg, what comes first. For me, I'd rather just communicate with the planets. Um, that's me. It works for the people. And I think that's great. I have nothing against it. I actually have to have an astrologer on membership because I, people are into it. But anyway, um, you're going to get a channel. It's going to say um, type channel again. You're going to have to type channel again in the messenger. And then you put in your email address and you'll get it. I'm not selling anything. You're just going into my email to get it, just so you know. Okay, Kim, I love this, right? So how many of you are on the fence about a new career direction and a life purpose and you're so afraid to commit to something because you're afraid it's going to be the wrong thing or it's not going to be fulfilling and you don't want to repeat old patterns. Like it's so perfect. So Kim, that's where I would have you, instead of making it like this big, huge banana, what you want to do is make it just about joy. What brings you joy, Kim? 
you want to start there. I mean, if you've been following, I don't know if you've been able to watch all my videos, but I talked about how I got my careers and my careers were never about, um, we're never about, don't put your email address in the comments. You're going to get something in Facebook Messenger. I'm going to share a screen next time um, so I can show you. I don't think I can do it right now, how it works. <laughs> um, they were never things that I set out to do for a living. I only followed my heart. So what I want you, Kim, to do is instead of not doing anything, right, so you're not doing much work-wise for a long time, I want you to really start getting interested in thinking about the things that you want to do, even if they're just interests of yours and you can't imagine how you could possibly have a career. So yesterday I was on membership live and I'm going to share somebody and I think she's on the thread. She, yeah, she is on the thread. She was talking about moving. She quit her job. And um, what came to me was like, and she didn't know, like she wanted to make sure that her new career was going to work, but there was going to be this like gap there. And I was like, well, if you want to make jewelry, go get a job in a boutique, right? Something that's brain, doesn't affect your brain, doesn't make you exhausted. You're not making huge decisions. You're getting to network with people. You're getting to meet people. You're getting to be around beautiful items. You're learning about inventory. You're making connections. And then in the meantime, you're on the side building your jewelry line. So it's like that, Kim. It's like if I wasn't doing, I'm doing what I love to do. But if I wasn't, I would make sure that I was engaging in a hobby or an activity that would show up for me and get me more vibration. What you want to do is raise your vibration so that the spirit universe brings you opportunities. Let me know if that helps. All right. Oh, this is a good. Okay, so I take them wherever they tell me to go. So I'm not picking people purposely. I don't read things. I have no time for that. I'm blooming into the flower I've always known I could be. Ask the universe to turn up the energy, but I'm hesitating to surrender, dive in, can feel it in my heart. I got a pain right here, Vioma, and that's burden. And there's something that you want to be doing that is making you feel like, so my question to you is if you want a spiritual job or is there is a healing tech thing, a lot of times people are hesitant to walk into that spiritual job because they're afraid of the responsibility that comes with it. What I would like for you, Vioma, is to ask the universe how you can become conscious to prepare for this big thing that they want from you and go with whatever little things come to you. So if this is very normal, cause you're not vibrating yet at that level and you might have this huge dream of doing something that's like maybe speaking or traveling, I'm getting a lot of pain with you on my shoulders. So that's usually like spirits pushing you forward, but they're also giving me a lot of pain of burden and let it go and just be, and what I would suggest for you, sweetie, is that you say to the universe, okay, I really want to do this and you know I want to do this. So can we break it down into little steps right now? Can you give me something that will prepare me for this opportunity, but yet not be the full-blown kit and caboodle right now? I'm committed to you. I promise you this is what I want to do, but I want to, I want to break it down into steps. That's what I would have you do. Great. Um, all right. Let's see where else they take me. Kathleen. My goal is to find my new career. It will be something creative that will bring joy to others, but I'm procrastinating and practicing different creative avenues I know I can do. Kathleen, I think you were the one yesterday. If I try things, I feel it will be revealed to me. Why am I procrastinating? I have fun creating things. I feel like, Kathleen, what's happening here is a lack of belief in yourself. Am I going to be really that good? Are people going to like it? Are they going to accept it? Are they going to understand it? A lot of times when we're creating art, like look at us. How many, I imagine everybody, and Lori, I saw yours. I want to actually go to that. I hope I can find it. Um, we all, like I'm teaching what I know to be true from them. I'm not reading this in a book. I do read books, but a lot of times the books are confirming what spirits already told me or it's opening a new door for something else. Then I get everything from my guides, right? So that's what I'm teaching. I'm teaching through life experience, everything like that. So I have to be comfortable with going out and speaking. And you know, something I've noticed lately, Kathleen, uh, Laura was asking me questions from the Aram show that they wanted me prepared for. And I, I know those answers like this. And they were questions I hadn't been asked before. 
And I was like, wow, I really am an expert in this field because I trust everything that comes through me. So I feel like it's trust. trust. It's something you've never done before. So it gives you kind of sea legs. You're not yet comfortable with it. And I feel like you want, you need to start just creating. You need to start creating without the worry. I remember um, a medium telling me this of where it's going to go. You need to just do it. So don't worry about the end product. Don't worry about people buying it. Don't worry about the business right now. Just get into creation. That's what I would suggest for you. And that'll help your procrastination because what's going to happen is while you're creating, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, this is so much fun. I love it. This is great. This is amazing. And you're going to feel like, oh my goodness, I have to do this. I'm getting so much joy. Oh, I'm going to give this to the neighbor next door. Oh my goodness, she loves it. She loves it. And that's what's going to happen. Okay. So for readings, I didn't want to do readings. Oh my goodness. I didn't want to do readings when this started out for me. And I was doing readings and I was seeing what it was doing for people's lives. And I was like, I have to do this. Like, I remember a very well known psychic. I have to have her on membership. Um, she's very well known. And she uh, said to me, it's not a career that you choose. It chooses you. And I have to agree with that. All right. I'm going to take a couple more and then I got to go because I have readings. And I, Lori, I saw, I want to see if I can find it because I, I really, use, here it is. Okay. Here it is again. Create my own audio TV production business. Have a situation where I don't trust one of the individuals involved and I'm creating a comedy radio show for. Oh. The reason why I do that, Lori, is because something happened to me and you'll, you're now in membership. You'll hear it in the live. I don't want to share it publicly um, where somebody took an idea. So trust your intuition. Um, I understand you're creating a comedy radio short for, show for them. Please trust your intuition. Make sure that you have ironclad um, documents. I hate to be this way. I'm not coming from fear. I'm coming from an actual experience. Um, I do have an entertainment attorney. You're in L.A. I can put her, you in touch with her. Or just know that you never want to do anything out of fear. Like I, I kind of knew when I should have did something and I didn't and I trusted and all of that. So you just want to, um, you want to learn from the situation. And the thing that you want to ask yourself, because this is what happened to me. And then I'm going to go into the other thing. The person I was partnered up with was so huge in the industry that... I felt lack of worth, like, oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky they want to do it with me. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And I put myself in the background. I'll never friggin' do that again, ever. I don't care who you are. You could be Oprah that's going to sit across from me. I'll never do that again. So spirit obviously was preparing me for something too, right? They're preparing me for something. So I want to make sure you're not putting yourself in the background. The other thing I want you to know, I love, love the idea of you creating your own audio and TV production business. And I want you to start, let's not worry about building it right now. All I want from you is I want you to start reading about people who are doing this. I also want you to start reading about people that are creating online businesses. Like um, there's this network B, B E. it's just starting, right? And I know some of the people that are on the ground floor of that. The, look at uh, the Thrive thing, Ariane, Ariane, Ariana Huffington. You know, look at people that have created some. Look at Marie TV. Look at Gabrielle Bernstein, you know, people that have the YouTube channels. Think out of the box and don't worry about creating it because I know you come from production like I do from that kind of level. Just look into things. Just be inspired by people's stories. That's what I want you to do right now, sweetie, because I feel that that's going to help momentum and inspiration. Inspiration goes away. Procrastination kills inspiration. And inspiration is when we are feeling inspired in the moment and acting on it, you want to act on it. And it's in, and the way to help that is by doing like, I love that one woman, I can't remember who said it, it might've been April, breaking it out into little pieces. All right, I'm going to take one more. Let's see where they take me. Uh, I'm trying to find someone new uh, here. Julia, I'm procrastinating. I just, it goes so fast, guys. I'm on B Live, and so just, I'm not. I'm procrastinating, but suddenly I know, I'm no more sure about the future of my writing career and about my life's purpose. It's like I lost interest on what I did till now. I feel that something is going to change, but I don't know how and when. I'm procrastinating because I don't have the answers. Sorry for my bad English. I'm Italian. Totally fine. Julia, I think we understand this. Um, here's the thing that I'm going to say to you 
if the, sometimes how many of you guys have gone through this? You, you start a, a project and you're so excited about it. And then outside crap gets in. You know, when I was in Tony and Tina's wedding, I, I keep dreaming about it. I just realized I dreamt about it again last night. So what happened to me is I got the lead. I beat like over a hundred people out of an open call. And there were all these nasty actors in that show, not all of them. And they were catty and mean, and they brought it into the show. And they all had, like, I was like the 15th Tina. So they all had opinions on how Tina should be. And I wasn't strong enough yet to handle it. And even people from the outside world would come in. Like my brother came to see me and he was like, well, you should really like take, uh, you should really take lessons from Tony because he's got it down. Like, what a thing to hear. I was heartbroken, heartbroken. And I'm still really proud of the show that I did there. But I allowed that stuff in. And I was booking like crazy as an actor. I was booking independent movies. I was Everything I auditioned for when I really started, I pretty much booked. And then I allowed that inner do- that outside crap in. And it affected me. The reason why I'm sharing this with you, Julia, is because I feel like something's happening with that. It could be your own beliefs. It could be when you were younger, your mother said something to you or a teacher said something to you or something like that. So what I want you to do is sometimes we need to take a break from the project. So she says she's writing, right? So I want you to take a break from the project for now. And I want you to do something creative that you don't have to be good in. I want you to go get coloring things, puzzles, um, go to a movie, do something that makes you feel creative. Go gather things from nature, go get flowers, arrange them, anything that's going to re-inspire the creativity in your soul that you don't have to be good at. And I want you to get into the play of it because that is going to see all you guys are lacking. And I'm not saying you're lacking completely. So please know I'm not saying that, but what you're lacking are the tools. That's it. That's it. You all have the answers. You all, when people say to me, I don't know what I'm supposed to be. I understand confusion. But I beg to differ that you really don't know. What you are is afraid to admit it to yourself. You're afraid to go against the grain and say that that's exactly what you want to do because you're afraid that you can't have it. My throat went like that. So that's what I want to say to you, Julia. That's what I would like you to do. I feel like writing is your career. I feel like speaking is your career. I feel like I don't know if you make things with your hands, but you need to play with that making things with your hands. I like charcoals. Um, That would be really good for you too. So that's what I like. Um, Something going to change. I don't know how it went. The other thing I want us to talk about with her, I know I'm spending a lot of time on her, so forgive me. Um, She says, I don't know how and when I'm procrastinating this. I don't know how they, she says, I feel like something's going to change, but I don't know how it went. What bothers me about that statement, and I see people doing this, and I used to be guilty of this, we wait until something comes to our door to change things. I don't want people doing that anymore. I want you being an active participant in your life. I want you, again, when things are difficult, I do something I love. So I'm going through some really interesting stuff right now. And what do I'll do? I'll go run in the park with the dogs. I'll go to a yoga class. I will um, watch a stupid little YouTube video that makes me laugh. I will sit outside and look at real estate. (laughs) That's like my biggest fun thing. I'll play fetch with the dogs. You get my idea. None of that's difficult. And it gets me out of that crappy rabbit hole. So I I won't go down the rabbit hole anymore. I'm done with the frigging rabbit hole. Okay, guys, I do have to go, but remember to type channel. Oh, and we're also changing the time. So, and I'm going to be doing more of this where I participate with you. So remember to type channel if you want the channel message. Um, and also, oh, wait, I want to just see this. I'm sorry I can't get to everybody. I really can't. But I hope I give enough tools and techniques that you can apply them to yourselves. Um, Oh, that's so sweet, Jessica. Thank you. It's so sweet that people like, I, this is what I love about my audience. They care about me. And it's so sweet. Marilyn, you mentioned the first thing of the series that you felt called Single Moms. Perhaps your TV series could be slightly different combination. I love that. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you. Um, I, uh, <laughs> thank you for that. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you so much. It's very, very sweet that you think that. Okay, Soulful Living with your guides. Make sure you go in there, Soulful Living 
with your guys. Actually, we're going to be doing readings with Sue Kovacs. I forgot about that. So I'll let you know when that's going to happen. That's going to be a special broadcast. We're going to do readings with Sue Kovacs with her cards. Sue Kovacs is an incredible medium. She is the one that I um, recommend because I'm barely reading anymore. I'm only reading for people in membership or uh, recurring clients. And so she's the one that recommends. I recommend her through my site because we have a little bit of a deal. And then she takes off on her own. But you can go to, you know, I don't care how you find Sue. I'm happy to share Sue. Um, so anyway, next time we are going to talk about, we're going to go more into this. So we're going to talk about how to make your purpose a part of your life. How to make your purpose a part of your life. So this is going to be really important. And how to make your purpose a part of your life. Next live which is going to be Tuesdays now because I have to change it at 12 noon PT. Now, here's the thing I want you to know. What I'm going to do for that live, I'm going to go to my calendar right now. And I'm going to make sure it's an hour long. Sometimes I don't like doing them that long just because um, I think people don't really watch them. <laughs> but it seems like you guys do. So I will make sure that um, I to do it for an hour so that we could really get into what you're struggling with with your purpose okay and in the meantime i would definitely suggest listening to that channeled message because it's really really good and it's going to talk about how to make something that's difficult in your life something that's the light in your life right so that's what i think you're going to really enjoy from it all right guys mm, much love to all of you thank you so much for joining me and i will talk to you soon take care